Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Today, as you may have seen from the title, we're going to be discussing something a little bit different. Uh, that's right. In this video, we're going to take a look at our YouTube revenue earnings and hope to inform and educate those who wish to create content in a similar niche to ours. Uh, that niche being hashtag van life and travel. Hopefully, we'll be able to demonstrate what financial return, if any, you can see from your creative endeavours. Or maybe you're just curious. Either way, we hope you find this video interesting. So, let's get to it. Some of you may be sat there at home thinking, what, you can earn money from YouTube? But yes, you can, and there's massive potential. The biggest creators on the platform are making millions every year. So let's take Ryan's channel, for example. He's just your average eight-year-old making an estimated 30 million pounds a year. As of January 2020, his channel had a net worth of 112 million dollars. So Ryan's numbers are truly impressive, but you don't need to be getting millions of views to be able to generate revenue from your content. That's right, we only get a tiny, tiny sliver of the views that Ryan does, so is it worthwhile for us? How does it relate for a small YouTube channel like ours? So let's take a look at the numbers of Flora and the Novice Explorers. Yes, we have been part of the YouTube Partnership Program for a little while now. In fact, we've been a partner since we started the channel in November 2016. Once you're signed up to the programme, you can start earning money from your channel, assuming it passes the manual review and is given the all clear. But before you are eligible to apply, you need to meet certain criteria. This includes having at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time over the last 12 month period. In simple terms, YouTube or Google will sell ad space on your videos. These can appear at the beginning or end of the video, in the sidebar or in a small banner along the bottom of the video. You may also see mid-roll ads on videos that are over 10 minutes in length. These can be manually placed by the creator throughout the video. Revenue earned on a video then gets divided into two separate pots. The split is 55% to 45%. Fortunately, the video creator, that being us, gets the larger pot, which is 55%, and the rest is kept by Google. So you've already lost half of the revenue from your video you may earn but that's a small price to pay to get your videos on the second biggest search engine on the internet, which is free to use. It is what it is. Disclaimer. Before we get into the numbers, there are a few caveats to be aware of. So firstly, not everyone's gonna earn the same amount for the equivalent amount of views. There are a huge number of factors that are going to determine how much revenue you will generate, but that's a whole nother subject for another video. So we're gonna focus just on our numbers. I guess a good place to start is to have a look at our most viewed video. This upload is from the 9th of June 2017, so it's one of our older videos on the channel. So since it's been uploaded, it has been viewed over 83,000 times, which is pretty incredible for a silly little video of me and Meg messing about, fumbling around, making a bed for the old camper van. Had we known it'd be so popular, we might have put more effort in and not acted so foolish. Yeah, and maybe worn a pair of my own shorts, not a pair of Cal's shorts. I find it quite embarrassing that it may be the first video of ours that a new viewer may come across. I don't think it's a good representation of our current content. But what are you going to do? We were very much learning back in those days. So 83,000 views, that is not bad at all for a tiny channel like ours. And since it was uploaded, it has earned us a grand total of... £181.20. Not bad. The video has paid for the bed materials, which is brilliant. It's brought a whole load of viewers to our channel and still generates revenue all these years later. The bed literally makes us money whilst we're sleeping on it. As you can see, the earnings fluctuate hugely, and this could be due to the time of year, for example. Um, in January, you're gonna earn a lot less than you would in December. That's because advertisers are obviously gonna spend less in January. After the holidays. The big spike in the middle of the graph looks impressive, but it only adds up to around £1.50. This goes to show how the figures slowly add up to be something more substantial over time. And that small area where we earned absolutely nothing is when we lost our eligibility in the YouTube Partnership Programme. 
What's interesting is that YouTube claimed that being monetized doesn't affect the visibility or your video get recommended, but as you can see from our next graph, it had a massive effect on this video in particular. You can see the big gain of views after the video was published, then it dropped off significantly. This just so happens to be when we lost our monetization. However, it made a small recovery as soon as we had adverts back on the video again. Unfortunately, that didn't last long, and you can now see that the video gets pretty consistent views, but nothing like we were getting. So that's what our most viewed video looks like, and I think it's quite impressive. But we don't get anywhere near 80,000 views on each of our uploads. The views tend to fluctuate massively, and therefore, so does our revenue. Typical results. Let's take a look at one of our vlogs. Currently, we can expect anything from 1,000 to 3,000 views on a typical vlog in the first week or so. Our Gross Glockner video, which is one of the favourites that we've made, will be a good example. It currently sits at around 2,300 views, has been live for around one month. Personally, I think this video is 100 times better than the bed video. It's more exciting, shot and edited better, and overall, it's far more entertaining. But that doesn't mean it's going to do better just because more effort has been put into it. And that's what can be quite frustrating about YouTube. Anyway, this video has earned us a grand total of... 6 99 <laughs> Better than nothing. So it can be quite disheartening when you put so much work and effort into a video and it doesn't do brilliantly well. But that does bring us on to uh, the main topic of this video. Recently, I've seen a few people online asking if it's worth starting a similar YouTube channel to ours in the hopes that it will fund their travels and lifestyle. There are a lot of creators who are able to make a substantial amount of revenue from their videos and appear to be living the dream. But I think it's a little naive to assume that it's as easy as filming a vlog and uploading it and expecting to never work nine to five ever again. There is a huge amount of work involved. For example, our Gross Glockner vlog that earned us £6.99 took hours to edit. Yes, we're not professionals by any means and it's not as if we're busy doing much else at the moment, but we still want to create the best content we can and pour a lot of time and effort into our videos to give the viewer the most enjoyable experience. If you really want your channel to be financially beneficial, then you've got to enjoy creating the content first and foremost. Van life content and YouTube in general is beyond oversaturated now. You'll need to make yourself stand out and avoid being buried underneath the thousands of creators within your niche monthly earnings and how they vary. So as we mentioned earlier, in some months you will generate more revenue. Unsurprisingly, December pays a lot more than January does, for example. Throughout December, we had just over 28,000 views and that earned us a total of 97 pounds and six pence. Compare that to January 2020. As we collect this data, we're nearly at the end of January, but the month isn't quite over yet. So these numbers will be likely to rise a little. However, we've already had more views than we did in December. So far, we have had over 28,000 214 views, earning us a measly £47.09. So technically, we have done better this month, but have only earned 50% of what we did previously. So this is why you sometimes see creators pumping out a lot more content in December. Maybe they'll do daily vlogs all of a sudden, or just double their output, because their earnings literally are twice as much. 2019 total earnings. So let's take a look at the bigger picture. 2019 was a good year for us. We finished converting the van, we hit the road, and we started uploading at least once a week. So we gained over 270,000 views in 2019. The big spike was when we released our van tour video. They always do quite well, and I was so far has amassed over 40,000 views. In 2019, we earned a grand total of... 670 pounds, 10 pence not to be sniffed at. Pure profit? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> so as we mentioned earlier, we want to give the viewer the best possible viewing experience, but that costs us. Just before we get into the next segment of the video, we want to just clarify that we choose to spend money on our channel. You do not have to, but for us, it feels like we're reinvesting into our content and improving the overall quality. So firstly, we pay to use the music in our videos. Music is so evocative and can really help to create a certain feeling or atmosphere within our videos, and it's incredibly powerful and so, so important to us. 
Yeah, so we could just use YouTube Audio Library, which is free, but it really doesn't do it for us. You never find the right track to express the emotion you want to convey, and the music also gets used quite a bit, so it can become very familiar and monotonous. So we use Epidemic Sounds, which is absolutely fantastic. However, this service does cost us £10 a month, so over the course of a year, that equals £120. Next up is our editing software. Again, this is something that you could do for free, but Cow likes to use Adobe products, so decided to fork out for Lightroom and Premiere Pro. So we are not professional photographers, videographers, editors, or anything like that. We are just keen hobbyists who love to create content and try to improve with each video we make. And I think we've really come on quite a long way since we started the process all those years ago. So the subscription to Premiere Pro costs £238.42 for the year and Lightroom costs £119.21. That makes a combined total of £357.63. To supplement our videos, we also write blogs too, and we often go into more detail than we do in the videos. Being new to the whole blog and website world, we thought it would be best to go with Squarespace. I'm sure that you've heard of them before, as they advertise a lot on YouTube. They're certainly not the cheapest option, but they do make things a lot simpler and easier for us. Their service costs us around £150 a year. We're not entirely sure of the actual cost as we've changed our level of service multiple times throughout the year, so it has fluctuated a bit, but around £150. So this leaves us with around £42.47 profit for the year, but that obviously doesn't take into consideration our time, cameras, drones, laptop and other equipment. And with all that being said, we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't enjoy it. As we've mentioned multiple times, it can be a lot of work and it is disheartening when a video doesn't do as well as you hoped, but that is the nature of the beast. We do use affiliate links through Amazon and that does earn us a small commission if people purchase through them. We put them in the links to our YouTube videos and also on our blog. We don't really promote these links a lot, but they are there if anyone is interested to see what products we use. These earnings can vary wildly, so we don't really have a solid figure currently, um, but it's safe to say we won't be retiring on the revenue we earn through these links. Not yet. And we don't ask for donations or have a Patreon set up currently. We have discussed the option of having a Patreon in the past, but decided against it for the time being. I think it would put too much pressure on us to constantly create content, and I think over time that would probably have a negative effect on our passion and effort we put into it if we definitely had to keep putting stuff out constantly. So for the time being, we're still in control of when, how often we upload, so that's where we like it for now. However, lots of creators do choose to, and they also supplement their income with sponsorships and merch once they've built a sizable audience. Sponsorships are definitely something we'd be open to, but only if we believe in the products or services. Surprisingly, we've already turned down some offers. We're not into making a quick cash grab to promote some subpar product. If you're curious and want to snoop on some of your favourite creators, you can use a website called socialblade.com. This displays their stats and potential earnings. As we mentioned earlier, there are a lot of factors that determine how much someone will earn, so take everything you see there with a pinch of salt. So, we've talked in depth about the earnings that we've got from YouTube, but it's not always about the cash. No, over the last few years we've been very, very lucky to work with some very generous companies. We've had products in exchange for us creating content, and it's a mutually beneficial setup. So there are more benefits than just earning AdSense with having a YouTube channel if you're willing to put the work in. Since we've been on the road, we've had a couple of more companies contact us and we are sort of debating what we can do for them in the future, but obviously right now on the road is a bit difficult because we're moving, we're in Europe, we're changing countries all the time. So if you'd like to see more from us, click that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified every time we upload, click the bell button too. Check the description box down below. There you'll find links to all of our social media, our website, other ways to get in contact and all relevant information for this video. Yeah, feel free to leave a comment too. If you've got any questions, if you want to know anything, please feel free to reach out and we will do our best to answer them. We'll see, see you in the, the next one. one. <laughs> Da 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 da